In this exercise, we'll try out a new snap and continue to familiarize ourselves with other snaps. In this lesson, you will learn about key point snap, tangent snap, intersection snap, and nearest snap. Continuing in AccuSnap.dgn, zoom to the four figures at the bottom part of the view. Select Place a Smart Line on the Home Ribbon tab in the Placement Ribbon group. To create the two lines within the top circle, we will use the key point snap. With the cursor, highlight the circle and snap to the top key point and data point. Place the vertical line by snapping to the opposite key point. Press Reset. Do this again for the horizontal line. Next, we'll place a few lines tangent to the two circles. First, double click on the Tangent Snap icon to make it the default snap. Since we'll be creating several lines, this makes the line placing convenient. Snap to the larger circle and move the cursor to view the tangent line you are creating. Note the direction of the tangent line. If you want to change the direction of the tangent line, move the pointer through the circle. With tangent snap mode still active, snap to one of the sides of the smaller circle to create the desired tangent line. Reset to complete. Let's create the other two tangent lines. We create the other two tangent lines between the circles. To create the vertical line, we'll use key point snap and AccuDraw. Double click the key point snap icon to set it as the default snap mode. With place a smart line, snap to the right quadrant point on the smaller circle to define the start point of the vertical line. As expected, the AccuDraw compass display is at the start point. Move the pointer upwards on the AccuDraw axis and press Enter key to lock it to the axis. Snap to the top quadrant point on the larger circle to define the length of the vertical line. Reset to complete. Next, we'll create the two horizontal lines in the circles at the bottom of the view. Note how each line starts at the intersection of the circles. Single click the intersect snap icon and snap to the upper intersection point of the two circles. Move the pointer to the left on the AccuDraw axis and press the Enter key to lock it to the axis. Single click the near snap point icon and snap to the upper circle to define the end point of the line. Reset to complete. We'll repeat these steps to create the second horizontal line. Close AccuSnap.dgn. In this lesson, you learned more about key point snap, tangent snap, intersection snap, and nearest snap. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.